Hey YouTube, another day, another video. Today we're gonna to be fitting a engine mount I got from KTEC from their auto sale when they did the open day for five pound. This pulls out of the way as well, make things a bit a uh, bit more easier access. You just undo the normal clip on that. So I've secured the engine uh, with a sump with a bit of block of wood and a jack and cracked off the main two at the front and the one at the back and now I'm just uh, and doing the bolt from the engine mount. Well, I had to, had to undo the uh, top torque mount bolt and take that out and then lift the engine by the sump. Probably by about 10, 15 mil, just to, and then squeeze this out through here. Turn oil, leave it up, and squeeze it in. That's as good as it gets. I'm not going to lie, it was tricky to manoeuvre the engine mount into place and then get the bolt to go through the hole. But it's in there now, it's tying it all up. That's the bolt already home. I'll show you the old engine mount. So it's always worth looking at when you take the uh, one you've got. I've got this one with uh, from KTEC, obviously the person before me had put it all back together. But you see that's massively split just there. Hopefully you can see that shows up on camera. There's a split just there. Massive split. Should be able to get my screwdriver in there. And it goes all the way through. So yeah, when you've got your um, engine mic out, have a quick look. Don't bother putting the old one back in if it's knackered. Just getting these bolts put in. You know me, I like to get everything lined up hand tight before I start tightening. Make sure I don't cross any thread or anything. Okay, that's it fitted. I'm gonna lie, there's a little bit fiddly trying to get that in, only probably because I've got aircon. You guys who are at aircon are probably gonna laugh at me. There we go. I've gone through the process, that's tight, that's tight. Those two at the front are tight, that's tight. Put the washer bottle back in and then one of the bolts back in the under tray and uh yeah done i hope that's helpful to someone out there cheers anyway i'm happy for a fiver cheers k-tech <laughs>